along. <laughs> Heavy horses. Stay away to heaven. <laughs> Here's a piece of music uh, which I suppose celebrates the creativity of some of our reigning monarchs over the years. Because in our little sceptered isle, we've had many a famous king and queen who left their mark on our culture and our history. Amongst those, of course, King Henry VIII, for example. He was a, he was a fighting son of a bitch. He liked to cut the heads off women. Six wives he had, cut the heads off the lot. As soon as he got bored with them, <laughs> and then there was uh, King Richard the Lionheart. He was a great king, wasn't he? He went off to the Crusades. And look what shit that's got us into. <laughs> more recently, we've had King Blair. King Tony Blair. <laughs> and look what shit he's got us into. But going back for a minute to King Henry VIII, he, he was actually quite a creative soul. He was a, a poet and a musician. And Tis said, apostrophe Tis said, he actually came up with a, the lyrics to a number of things, including this piece, uh, definitely attributed to him. We call it King Henry's Madrigal, but it was originally called Pastime in Good Company. It was a piece of music from a, from a rare Jethro Tull album, and it was released uh, ooh, 20 years ago or something. Uh, I was really impressed when Anne-Marie sent me an MP3 file of, of her version, a kind of bluegrass version of this piece. And I thought, wow, she discovered this too, thousands of miles away, a piece of pre-classical rare repertoire. Then the awful truth came out. She told me, only on this tour, she said, oh, actually, I heard it on one of my dad's old Jethro Tull albums. <laughs> <laughs> so this is called uh, Pastime in Good Company, or King Henry's Mandrigal, and a spirited rendition this will be.